what would you do if I told you to throw the hutch in the trash? Would you do it? Probably not. Probably not. How much was the hutch? <laughs> $90. $90. If I gave you $90, would you throw the hutch in the trash? <laughs> expectations I really don't know what to expect this could either go really well or it could go terribly wrong <laughs> no gray area yeah I don't know I've never done anything like this before what's the worst case scenario you can imagine well hopefully they'll want to accept the help and accept my suggestions and that's the best case scenario. Did you ask me what the worst case scenario was? Or the best? Yeah, the worst case scenario. The What's worst, the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is they don't want to accept the help or the suggestions, or they'll be offended by my advice. Well, there is kind of like you have to give advice in a delicate way to not come off as offensive, but. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you say you see something that's just completely atrocious and needs to be reprimanded immediately? How do you, how do you deal with that? I don't know. You just gotta be diplomatic. You just gotta. I mean, I'll be, I'll be myself. I, which can be a little harsh in a sense, but you know, um, I'm just gonna be. The Lorelei that's on the YouTube channel all the time, which is you either love it or you hate it. <laughs> I don't know. Unapologetically Lorelei. Yeah. Who are you mostly concerned about? Are you concerned about the daughter or are you concerned about the mother? I think I'm concerned for both. I want the daughter to have a good relationship with her rabbit, but the parents, I think they want the rabbit to like live outside partially, and I'm going to have to break it to them that that's not going to be possible. Mm. Yeah. With too many risks to even like deal with it, so just keep them indoors, you know? You're going to have to uh, kind of change your communication style talking to a 13 year old, you think? Um, Depending on how mature she is. Yeah. I don't think I'll have to totally adjust my style, but I mean, I've never met them, so maybe. We'll find out in 10 minutes. We'll find out in 8 minutes. Alright. We're here. This is it, so... And you got the address. Although this is, I think this is like the back way. Oh, oh my God. This is all they keep to block out the bunny? The bunny could easily get out. Oh my god. Alright, how do we... we get in? Maybe I should call her. Oh, no, they see me. Hi! Hi! She's in the house. <laughs> Hi, nice to see you. We are filming already. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah, we can just move this. You guys have a lot of stuff? We do, but we'll kind of bring stuff in okay. as we see fit after talking to you and things yeah. like that. Nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> I'm River, obviously. Hi, River. Hi, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's 
take a look at what's going on. Let's okay. talk about it. Um, we'll talk about that as well. <laughs> Sometimes she runs up to the door. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lorelai. Lorelai, nice yes. to meet you. Nice to meet you, David. David, TJ. Nice to meet you, TJ. Let's switch sides. This isn't my good side. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, this is my good side, but... So when you brought the, the rabbit, is the rabbit spayed or neutered? It's a boy yeah, or a she, girl? She came spayed. She's spayed. Okay, yeah. perfect. Is the rabbit potty trained? Yeah, she came potty trained too. She's really good at Yeah, well, mostly. In the house, she does pretty good. Other than like sometimes she'll kick a few out, mm -hmm. I think on accident. Mm -hmm. um, if she's outside, she's not that in her good little litter box. I don't know, maybe it's too small or something. There tends to be poop like all over the cage inside. How often does the rabbit live outside? Half and half? What do you think? Yeah. Now, when you say you leave her outside, do you like, is she in the hut? Yeah, or is she yeah, just like running around no, the no, patio? Only, <laughs> no, yeah, she I'm only sorry. runs around the patio like if we're home. I don't like um, her going out on the patio. She doesn't really like She's her. afraid she's gonna I get, let her run around the patio. <laughs> yeah, she's afraid she's gonna get taken by a hawk. Or the plants. I don't really like the idea of all those plants that he doesn't even know what they are. The biggest problem we've had with her in terms of not being able to trust her is um, chewing cords mm -hmm. and so we worry about like what's she gonna get into mm -hmm. if we're gone all day yeah she hasn't really hit the computer yet she went back there yesterday. but I'm like any oh, day she's that's gonna... a lot of cords I know but I worry like if she's home all day she might so when she lives indoors part-time mm -hmm. uh, like when is she indoors? Just when you're home? Some nights she comes. Sometimes we inside. can't catch her to put her back in the hut. When we first got her, she was outside and she wasn't eating all of her food. Even now when we put her out there, she doesn't eat all of her food. And like, she doesn't behave like she does when she's inside, I noticed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you say that, but when I let her outside to like play, she has a great time. Yeah, yeah. she loves being in the front yard. Yeah. We can't get her so? back inside. Running around, yeah, because she just eats all the plants. She, she... Interesting, yeah. okay. And what's like your biggest um, problem with the rabbit? My mine is just, I wasn't really keen on having a pet in the first place. Like mm -hmm. I didn't really want something else to clean up after. Mm -hmm. So um, mess or smells like so you want <laughs> you wanted the rabbit you didn't want the rabbit yeah okay i had a rabbit as a kid yeah but it lived outside it would just run around and i put it in the cage at night but then an owl started hanging around that's not a funny story. that's what happened i don't know what happened we didn't know one ever went out that night so i never escaped through the fence or anything like that so an owl ate your rabbit? I'm guessing, that's what we assume, because I never saw the owl again. The owl is gone. How is your relationship with the rabbit? She used to like him the most, mm -hmm. and then she stopped kind of liking him when, she, and when he started putting her in the cage again. And now she kind of gravitates towards my mom, but... She, she likes me the best, <laughs> which is funny because like I'm like, eh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she's scared because I tried to put her back in the cage or... Mm -hmm. Well, why don't we go meet this rabbit? Okay. The box is down here. What's your rabbit's name? Strawberry. Oh. Hi, Strawberry. Oh, you are so loving. Hi. She's a little shy. Yeah. Let me look at your litter box. She's oh, been in there. Okay. There's like not nearly enough hay in there. Because she's like really shedding a lot. Yeah. I feel like she hasn't really been brushed quite well in a in a while. Possibly. <laughs> Kind of put this out here 
This is just the, the it's pretty bland. We put latches over here so like a raccoon can't lift it up. Okay. This is the litter box? Yeah, it's the only one that would fit in the hutch. There's like barely any hay in there. We ran. Are you putting the hay in there for poop or are you putting it in there for her no, to eat? No, I ran out of it in the bag. Like I, but Mira, there's literally a hundred pounds know. downstairs. So bring some more up. All right, so this litter box is uh, a little too small. Yeah. There's not enough hay. And the hay needs to be replenished like three, four times a day, like handfuls of hay because they're not getting enough fiber, they can go into GI stasis. And it can kill your rabbit within 12 hours. So you just give her that much space to like run around in? When we're not. <laughs> all right. Because, all right, it's a very, very tiny confinement. And, um, that was like one of the biggest ones on the internet we could even find. I know because hutches are actually, they're really, really small. What would you do if I told you to throw the hutch in the trash? Would you do it? Probably not. Probably not. How much was the hutch? $90. $90. If I gave you $90, would you throw the hutch in the trash? Then I would. Okay. Then could she live inside? Well, it's not my decision. I'm going to say we're going to have to get rid of the hutch. <laughs> You're going to have to completely scratch the hutch. And we're going to bunny proof your house and your rabbit's going to free roam in your home. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what's going to happen. That's what happens when you call in Len and the bunny to come give you a makeover. That's a big project right there, but I'm happy to do it. It's good to have their water close to their litter box. Hi, you're so, oh my gosh, hi. You're such a good bunny. You're being so good. I'm gonna teach you how to brush her. I'm gonna teach you how to clip her nails. It doesn't, where do, does she have any toys right now? Cause it doesn't even look like there's toys anywhere. Oh, uh, she loves she plays with the basketball. Ball. A basketball. Does she, she have any, it around with her chest. Does she have any chew toys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is oh, this is an example of a really it's, it's a it's a poorly set up litter box. Yeah, yeah. but I, and I know you, I know it's not like a bad intention. It's just, but I have to be honest with you, and you you can't let it get like that again. Well, well the hay should be up to here. Yeah. Wow. All right, and she's gonna go through that in a day. Really? Yeah, and when she goes through this. She's gonna come up after every time she uses the bathroom and drink a whole bunch of water. Now that's a healthy rabbit. Maybe you can make little reminders for yourself to check on the litter box and replenish it when it's looking empty. You know, maybe twice a day you can put down, you know, maybe one o'clock and then five o'clock, you know, on your phone or on a whiteboard or whatever. Uh, like the bag, I use like a little lemon bag to bring it up. Well, I think it makes it hard that the hay is so far away from yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sorry. So like with Lennon, her hay and the litter box are kept side by side. I know that's harder because you've bought a bale. Yeah, they want to get you've wet. You've got an entire bale. It still looks like you barely touched the bale. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's from January, so you should have already gone through that whole bale of hay with her. That's how much wow. hay they need. <laughs> oh, yeah. We gotta, we, gotta, we gotta, like, fix that. How often do you clean, like, take out this or clean out the litter box? When she's told to. <laughs> no, I do it. Sometimes she goes, like, three days and then she's it really smells. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, on the third day, it's gonna smell no matter what. Yeah. Um, but... When I teach you how to like set it up a little more properly, it's not gonna smell as bad. And I think it's fine that you've kept the litter box down there. It's That's not a bad place to put it. We'll just put some water down there. She'll need some yeah, water that's easy. for sure. 
big. So what is this bin here? It's just like all of her stuff. Like, these are the gloves I used to clean her litter box. My grandma bought this stuff, but it doesn't do anything. It's like a bandage, which she thought it would be a good idea. We bought that when we first got her because she wasn't drinking. Mm -hmm. But then, the, like the day we got it, she started drinking out of the bowl, and she never used that. So, all right. She didn't touch it for like a month. So, we're tossing this. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Or we could resell it, right? <laughs> or you could donate it. It would. It wasn't drinking out of the bowl at first, and then. Uh, oh, here's. Well, you have not used it since. It's taking up space. Yeah. We're gonna Marie Kondo this right mm -hmm. now and get rid of that. So there she has toys. toys. Yeah. And why are they not <laughs> hanging out here on the ground for her? You have a problem with them, don't you? I didn't even know those were in there. <laughs> so what if we get her a little toy basket where you can keep all her toys. When guests come over, you can throw them in the toy basket. And when you're just hanging out at home leisurely and not caring, you can take them out of the toy basket and have her play with them. Oh, that is freaking cute. And it's pink, too. She hates it. <laughs> Well, yeah, didn't not well. <laughs> all rabbits are going to like doing this, to be honest with you, but it's still really cute. I'm going to give you a new brush. You can still use this, clean this off but it's... It doesn't work very well. It's not a very effective brush. Put everything in there. What is this? I don't even know. She just bought it offline. She's like, oh, this will help her. And we never used it. We're going to put... We're going to open up these toys and we are going to put them in here so that she has toys available to her at all times. My grandma bought this and I wasn't sure about it. That's fine, okay. that's a good toy. So this isn't like, these are cool toys and stuff, but I don't think you need 20 She's of them. Yeah. You're not yeah, gonna, no, she, she let's recycle that. Yes. I'll keep two in there. Okay. Let's not even, let's throw those out. That's the litter. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's why I was using it sparingly. Well, when you use it sparingly, it's going to smell. Because it's not being absorbed by anything. Oh. Look at that. You literally can now use this to occupy something else. Wait. Bon voyage, Dad. We'll be All back. Right. I'll be waiting. So we are going to Home Depot to pick up some cord protectors, right? Mm -hmm. Can you keep exactly for what though? Cord organizer stuff. Yeah, I'll show you. Okay. okay. I'll take you down over there right now. Hey, Richard, Richard in Garden 102. Garden. So this is like flex tubing that I was going to suggest. Well, this is a little bulkier. I don't think you need that. Oh, not you. <laughs> this one actually might not be a bad idea. Do I want, ooh, do I want this for linen? <gasps> oh my god, I'm getting this for, wait, what is this? Oh, I'm getting this for linen. Okay, done and done. But this one might be good for you. So FYI, if you ever want cheap pet stuff, mm -hmm. Ross is like okay. even cheaper than Petco and they've literally got like they have litter like they've got gigantic litter boxes and they're like so cheap. Could have come here. I mean yours is yours is good, the one that you have, but just like for future reference, you know. That's a Heidi house. Yeah. Because they like to hide. Even if you got her little something like this so that when you guys are out for the day and she just has a little place to sleep or something, you know? Because <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Probably wouldn't fit on a rabbit. <laughs> no. 
check out this oh. stuff. You can literally keep the hay in here and have a little lid where you can just do that. You know what I mean? Ross had all this pet stuff. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, you're talking to Ross expert here. Um, these are also really fun for bunnies. Okay, minus the catnip, never give them that. But this is really fun for them to chew on and play with, you know, and this is four bucks. So like, if you ever feel like you've run out of toys or your bunny's bored of the toys, you can just get one of these, throw it on the ground. She'll be all over it. I hope this is like, washable yeah. it's so dirty <laughs> I know but I'm like I thought oh, it was meant to be like that because it's marble oh yeah. oh oh okay I don't want it anymore <laughs> oh you thought it was I white. thought it was dirt and it was white <laughs> no why did they ruin my dreams oh no okay I can't I can't take it you I want me to put it back no I'll just leave it here that's what you can do at Ross yeah. <laughs> all right Want that one for Lennon? Yeah, I want this for Lennon. But let's, I digress. Let's go to the pet section again. Okay. She just needs like a nice big water bowl. Drink up. Oh, it's perfect. It <laughs> says drink up. It's meant to be. <laughs> All right. I think I like that one. I mean, this one's on sale, but hey, I don't know. It's three bucks. We could do this one too. <laughs> Catch me on the camera saying this one's on sale. Yeah. <laughs> Should we do the one on sale? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, drink up. <laughs> I'm sorry. This was cheaper. I mean, it's not, it's, it's still cute, yeah. right? Yeah, it's cute. All right, let's do it. Do it. Hold out, David, and like. I don't know, you're getting kind of hangry. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, you're getting a little hangry. You can get some food in you. I also made like chicken soup last night if you want. Don't give them Aww. chicken soup. It's okay. <laughs> she can have Taco Bell. Like, she's like, don't give her your chicken soup. I, I eat anything before I eat Taco Bell. Uh, I organic, I uh, made it with an organic chicken and kale. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's cute. I would, but I don't want to eat your family's food. I don't want to like raid your refrigerator, you know? And now we shall eat before continuing. She likes this guy. We'll use the stronger one on it. You get the gist. Why don't you continue to do this guy and I'll work on some of the other ones. Okay. Yeah? It's a block the back, so I can't get back there. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. So this is how they've been covering up the cords, just by doing this. And now you can officially... Oh, I Strawberry like Palace is so cute! She didn't even like it. I saw her <laughs> interest. Um, well, if she didn't like it, maybe we can get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, Mom's happy Please. about that. Yeah. So this is a bit of an arduous <laughs> process. Definitely. But it's worth it. Oh, this is the fun stuff. This guy is going to go. Much better. I need something like that for Lennon. It matches too. Oh, it does. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so this is. This episode is sponsored by Small Pet Select. They are graciously giving Mira and her family a ton of stuff, including a box of Timothy Hay, toys, pellets, bedding, Nutri Recover, nail clippers, hair buster, you name it. And Mira has no idea. So we're about to surprise her right now. <laughs> Come out and open up. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like that's not that impressive. <laughs> no, it is. Oh, look at it. I know. Yeah, you're getting oh, like a ton crazy. of stuff. And you got a hair buster, which I left in the car. You've got pellets, you've got 
bedding, the wood stove bedding, you've got paper bedding, you've got this thing is normally like hundred something. No, I don't know. It's really expensive. Really? But <laughs> then you've got a box of Timothy Hay, bunch of toys, Nutri Recover, Nutri, Nutri Rescue with like a recovery food if they're sick, oh, okay. and treats. Healthy snackers, berry basil. This is like, this is all going to you and strawberry. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope you like, I hope strawberry likes it. Yes. These are panella pads. And these are, since the bedding is expensive, you said, the litter. Um, this is really great liner that's just, you wash it and it's environmentally friendly and it's like a pee pad that you can use over and over. Okay, let's get this stuff inside. Okay. Look at this! Look at this! Doesn't it make you happy to see her happy? It makes me happy when I see her. We're not getting rid of the pellets cold turkey. We're just going to do a little bit like that. Okay. And give her this as her dinner. There you go, Bebs. Here you go. And you don't even need a pellet plate. Like, you can just do that, you know? I know your mom's going to hate this, but we'll clean it up. You, you don't even need gloves. Like, you don't have to do this with gloves every time. You just got to do this. And just do that. And tie it up, and then that's it. That's a good amount. She's already very excited about this. Now let's go test this downstairs with her and see if she, how she feels about it. She's marking her territory. She just peed. In there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, how'd you like that? <laughs> what you want to do with this is just go down just like that and she's gonna be okay with it. As long as you do it in a place that she's not super familiar with, she's not gonna feel as bold jumping all over the place. And if you do this what, for a good maybe half hour, really, and I mean really pull out some of this stuff, but see, you're going a little soft. You wanna really kinda of get in here and do that. See that? See how it's pink there? Yeah. That's what you don't want to cut. So you just do this. It looks easy, but you know, you just got to practice. So just watch this. There you go. Get her head. All right. So it's important to get down on the ground, get down on her level because she's a prey animal. Rabbits are prey animals and they respond to things that are at their level. And if you're trying to just pick her up when you're standing up and grab her like that, she's gonna run off. And just like, you can even massage her behind the ears a little bit. You wanna try massaging her behind the ears? There you go. Let's go toss this hutch that I know you love so very much. It was a Christmas present. And actually that rhymed. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but. Mary's Christmas present getting chucked. <laughs> All right, let's do it. It looks like it's gonna rain. Oh, yeah. Whoa, there's, there's a step there, huh? <laughs> Did you fall? Any more stairs in there? A little bit. <laughs> One final hug. <laughs> All right, oh. goodbye to cage life. We spent like two hours assembling that. <laughs> it took a little while. Bye, Hutch. Oh, no. all right. Dead. <laughs> And, and it's a goner. It's a goner, guys. <laughs> Bunnies don't belong in hutches or cages. Remember that. Good job. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, I feel like we just, we've made so many improvements in terms of the enrichment. You've got new hay, you've got new pellets, new bedding, new water bowls, everything that I can think of. You've got new storage containers. So I just, I mean, this was truly, truly a rabbit makeover and I just, oh, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> so yeah, I just, um, I like I know you reached out to me for a reason because you really wanted to give your rabbit a better life <laughs> and um, and I think that you by doing this you really have I'm excited for her to be an indoor bunny not outside anymore yeah I definitely feel better like that the cords are kind of managed because that was my probably my biggest concern with her being alone in the house. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to have her be a free roam bunny inside the house. Not have to try to trap, run her down every time to get her outside. Hug, hug. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank it was you. good spending the day with you. Yeah, yeah, you too. Thank you. Oh, of course. Appreciate it. Of course. Thank you, guys. Right, guys? Long day, but it was worth it. Yeah. How'd you feel about that? Whew. Um... It was a lot of work, man. It was a lot of work. I don't know if I can make a series out of this. But I think that we did a good job. I think they know. Like, I think they get it. And I think they're going to really try to make those improvements, you know? Yeah, I think they walked away a better educated bunny owners. For sure. That bunny is going to have an even better life than it already did. You know? All, they just needed that little extra push. So, to be continued.